E3 here, this is day, I don't know what it is, day 8 or 9, following my unique vibration. Um, I'm in a shared, like, big space with just, um, like, curtains dividing uh, beds, so I'm not talking too loud here, because it's morning time. Um, I don't remember what I said in the last video, which I think was early yesterday, but... I spoke to my neurosurgeon yesterday, he came to my room himself, and he's very busy, so I, you know, part of me is trying to be, have healthy skepticism of everything and everyone, well, not everyone, but like, um, listening to my intuition is my point, even if they're doctors, even if they're holistic or Western or family or whatever, and still listening to my intuition and asking questions. Um, but the neurosurgeon, he said that he feels like it's not, it's not enough to just do antibiotics. Like, even if I do it for a few days to fully heal the infection. So, he feels like the best, um, like, most guaranteed way to fully heal the infection would be to open up the skull again and, um, clean out, or like, not clean out, but use antibiotics. I don't know how it works. Like, I have to talk to them this morning. This is all happening so quickly. Um, like, use... I don't know what they do. Like, fill up the inside of the skull with... the outside with uh, antibiotic fluid instead of just um, doing it intravenously. Antibiotics, which I've been doing for the past few days. Um, because the infection is not through the skull yet, so I don't, I don't know, they have to like, I don't know the exact procedure, I have to ask, talk to him first and see, well, like, because there is also the factor of like, <laughs> my body's super tired and, um, I'm trying to use my mind right now to recharge the body, but, um, I don't know if it makes sense to wait a day or two to let the body build up, and if they even have um, openings, you could say, <laughs> to do the procedure. Um, and uh, so I, m I might just, they might just be best to do it at 8.30, um, when, or whenever it would be. But when I told the neurosurgeon uh, last night, which is like, you know, when I saw him seven hours ago, uh, I would do the procedure, I didn't, and then a few hours later I looked on the Cornell Hospital app and they said there was an appointment at 8.30, and, um, which Dr. Cece did not tell me, so, um, you know, uh, I guess that's part of it, but, um, in some ways it could be a lot easier than the brain surgery and it's good that I have the same surgeon who did that um, so it's possible that it could be fairly like, easier and the fact that no surgery has to be done on the brain uh, but you know just like the title of this playlist series playlist uh, video series following my unique vibration. I'm um, trusting that this is all part of the, uh, like I was describing yesterday, it's like layers of the old energies and the new energies are layered on top of each other. Um, and that's related to foundational principle number five of starting now, success now, following one's unique vibration now, um, even before could say the physical manifestation of the unique vibration, um, but still connecting with that energy now. So I kind of feel like that's part of, this is part of that process that I'm going through. Like the physical uh, energies releasing. And then the new energies, especially related to Emmanuel, are coming in. And sometimes it's more focusing on the letting go Sometimes it's more focusing on the new energies coming in, but like I said, I feel like they're layered over top of each other. Um, so I, wanna, I don't want to say too much more because, like I said, it's morning, 
other people here because um, it's not my private room and um, plus I just don't want to use any unnecessary energy right now. Um, but I'll give an update after uh, the procedure and I might shift to a different focus in these videos but uh, my intuition has told me to start them now and then uh, just document each day well each day that I can uh, make a video. Alright, so I'll speak to you in the next one.